Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is our last day on this Alaskan cruise. That is. But after this, we're going to Denali, so that's fine. Yeah, we're still, our vacation's not over just because the cruise is going to be over. Yeah. We're going to be on board all day, uh, and we are going to College Fjord this evening. I don't think we get there until about 6.30. So we've got a whole day to just kind of hang out on the ship and see what there is to do. I know right now we are at the Alaskan brunch where we get all different kinds of Alaskan food that we can try for brunch. And we had to do it because yeah, we had to do we're it trying Alaska to experience one. Alaska as much as we can. Yep. All right, Alaskan brunch. And then we got a pickleball tournament, right? 10.30. Yeah, all right. So let's see what they've got on the menu here, huh? Oh, looks good. The bananas foster pancakes. I've had pancakes in years. And um, what else did I get? I got the goat cheese and the cookie. Berry? <laughs> and uh, I got the Alaskan triple berry uh, tart. I got uh, a big and something smoothie or parfait. I got the uh, Alaskan blueberry pancakes with bacon and also the Alaskan berry part of the earth. Something like that. There was a lot of flavors in it that I wasn't expecting. Um, like goat cheese is normally it was it was kind of like melted almost <clears throat> very creamy and had mint and had berries and toasted pistachios with a reduction of uh, balsamic and all went well together very well it was good enjoyed it so my parfait was uh big and berries and bananas stuff like that uh the yogurt and it was a little bit hard it was good um even the fig was good I tried a little bit of that. You didn't want to. I didn't want to. I gave most of it to Laura because it just looked kind of weird. I said, what? You're not going to eat your fig? And he goes, no, I guess not. Nah. And I was like, here, you need to try it. It's good. <laughs> uh, freshly squeezed orange juice, which was good. Coffee's been a little bit tepid. Not exactly hot. So. So I don't know how to feel about this because I don't normally get this. I normally stay away from pancakes and all of the, the sweet, carby stuff, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know how much more sugar I can do. I'm in a sugar carbohydrate coma right now. <laughs> I guess like that. Yeah. So you probably can't see out that window there, but we are right at the the aft of the ship here in the dining room, and we had a pod of orcas come out uh, and start uh, surfacing right behind the ship, and then they moved off. And I don't know that I got any of it uh, with my iPhone, but <laughs> it was fun to see though. This wide-angle lens wouldn't do anything for it, of course, but. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I got something with the iPhone. I don't know. We'll have to look back at the footage. If I did, we'll put it in here. Yeah. But that was pretty cool. First time we've seen orcas. Uh, well, at play all. around like that. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. It is that time. All good things must come to an end. This is going to be really, really difficult. It's yes. windy and cold up here. It is. And that wind is brutal. Put the ball.
play for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But what do you expect? We were playing the whole time. So. <laughs> Uh, you got like 15 different kinds of cake. Yeah. That's small bit. Martuni time. <laughs> the dirtier, the better. So Corey's got me talking to you on the phone. We are in College Fjord and headed towards the Harvard Glacier. The big glacier behind us there. I don't know if you can see it or not. We're still 16, 18 miles away from it. It's not a big one. And it's windy and cold out here. But it's not really that cold. I think the air temperature is like 52, but with 20 mile an hour winds. Uh, and sitting out here for hours, it can get cold. So make sure you bundle up if you come. Still 10 miles out, they said, from Harvard Glacier there, so. Calving, I don't know that I'd even be able to see it. So I think we're five miles, ten miles, something like that away from uh, at least uh, the Harbor Glacier, which is back over here. And then the Yale Glacier, which is back over here. Yeah, we can't get very close because they do 
have, and as you can see, we got this ice field out here around us. And you gotta be real careful with that because that could easily cause damage. They were saying that a, a year or so ago, I think it was a princess ship, uh, got in a little too close. Uh, they had calving, which happens under the water as well as above the water. And they got speared by uh, a piece of ice and had to limp back to Juneau uh, for repairs. So, okay, that's why we don't get any closer than so many miles away. We feel like we're close, but we're really not. Yeah. yeah. Distances are extremely difficult to uh, to judge here in Alaska, so. But I wasn't able to actually see. See if I can get the... Uh... I don't know if you can get close enough, but that I tried looking. Like it's a brown bear. Brown bear, huh? moving out there it's a tiny dot road bicycles or right. like unless you want to buy a new bicycle Did he? good evening i'm kind of chilly cold the glaciers are done da -da -da -done. Da -da done yes we went to uh Hollis fjord today and that was pretty cool it was uh apparently it's got the if I heard them correctly, it's the largest concentration of glaciers in the world. Really? Yeah. Like five glaciers you can see from one spot, basically. We didn't get that close to some of the glaciers, to the Harvard and Yale glaciers. Couldn't. Yeah, we couldn't get closer than like five miles or something, I believe. So. But uh, they were pretty impressive. Massive, massive areas. Uh, just huge, huge glaciers. There was a bear out on one of the areas and it looked this big. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Even with a 240 millimeter lens, it, it looked tiny. So mm -hmm. hopefully we captured it. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. If we did, we'll put video in here. The sights today were phenomenal. Uh, just, just amazing. If you ever get a chance to go to Alaska, go to Alaska. Uh, we're going to show you pictures and video from it, but it just, it's not going to do it justice. I know it's not. It doesn't matter how good your camera equipment is. Uh, even on big screen, it's just not going to compare to seeing it in real life. No, it doesn't. Anyway, we are here at our last dinner. Uh, we got to go back to the room tonight and pack up, uh, put our luggage outside. Hopefully our laundry gets done in time. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, Boy's getting nervous. Yeah. He likes to get everything done. Because <laughs> we got to have all our bags packed and outside our room by 11 tonight because we can only take a carry-on, uh, like a, a tote bag with us tomorrow on the train. Yeah. Everything else has to be forwarded on either to the lodge in Denali or to the hotel that will end at in Anchorage, so. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah. We'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're gonna show you what we get for dinner and uh, we'll be back. I got two appetizers tonight. Two appetizers? I did. I got the tomato soup and some sort of like bacon and lettuce. Salad? I don't even know. It said lettuce, so I'm assuming it's a salad. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll show you. We'll be back. And that is what? Oh, I said it's a tomato. Tomato soup. Corey's favorite. Like some kind of special tomato or something they say. Heirloom. Heirloom tomato. Oh, okay. And this is a Thai spring roll on a bed of rice noodles or something. What is that? Um, it's brisket. Oh, that's the brisket. That's the yeah. brisket with uh, mashed taters and... Uh, mashed taters? Mashed taters and veggies. <laughs> All right. 
Well, I don't know about you, but those are the longest shrimp I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, yeah, looks interesting. All kind of genetically modified magic or whatever that is, but that is a one long shrimp. Actually peeled off all the breading to look at it because I've never seen anything like this before. I thought they just laid a bunch of shrimp out and, and battered it and fried it. But no, that is actually one long, long shrimp. Strange. You know, this is a sad time. <laughs> when all the suitcases are out in the hall. <laughs> well, you gotta make the most of your drink package, right? We are not doing that. <laughs> we have not done that this trip, no. <sighs> it's that time, folks. It is. We got a mess of clothes that we have to segregate one of these land sea tours and you gotta pack everything up the night before and put your bags out by 11 p.m. because you got some bags you can take on to the next section of the journey which we're going to Denali tomorrow and you can also send bags to your final hotel where you're flying out from which is Anchorage so well for us sometimes yeah, some of us is fair because but. on the train to denali you can only bring a, tote uh, bag. a little tote bag so something really small so we got to figure out how we're doing this and get that all worked out and just have clothes for tomorrow and whatever else we can bring with us but i mean then well, you got stuff that you want to keep with you like electronics and all that stuff and then you don't have the room to carry everything that you want to carry so it's well here's it's, the thing it's, it's kind of a challenge so you can bring everything but it's transported for you you won't have them in your possession you'll just have your tote bag in your possession and they will drop off your luggage to wherever you're staying but if you don't need it, they suggest that you have that continue on to Anchorage or Fairbanks. Right. Or the problem it is. is we have to pack it up tonight and figure for out that what stuff we want. even to join us in Denali. Anyway, so we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. Uh, we will catch you guys tomorrow. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Most of the people that watch our videos are not subscribed to us, so make sure you do that because we got a lot of great stuff coming up including two days in Denali and a day in Anchorage. So, yeah. we will catch you guys next time from Peaks to Tides. See you on the next one.